Um, I thought uh, we were, especially in the second half, um, much more patient. Um, I think we only turned it over maybe uh, six, seven times in the in the second half. So uh, once we settled down, you know, after that uh, sort of disastrous final four minutes of the second quarter where we fouled uh, over and over again, um, I thought we were really poised and, and uh, competed and played really hard and earned a, a really good win. Six blocks, three steals for Draymond tonight. Just can you just talk about what he did? Yeah, I mean he's he's the uh, best defender in the world. Um, he he does everything for us defensively. Um, he captains the defense. He's the one directing traffic. Uh, he guards guards on switches. He'll guard DeAndre Aiden um, and everybody in between. And he's all over the place with his help. I thought. Uh, that Draymond was was brilliant tonight. On on the level of, of challenges he faces, you know, league wide, do they rank pretty high? You know, with what you're you're going to need him to do in the Phoenix matchup. Yeah, I mean, the beauty of Draymond's uh, defensive acumen is the versatility. Um, even within uh, one possession, the, the versatility that he shows in terms of uh, you know switching on to different people. Uh, recognizing um, screens, recognizing cuts, recognizing this, the uh, whatever the pattern is and blowing it up um, from multiple positions. There's very few people in the world who can do that. So um, he's uh, and, and Phoenix makes you guard. You know, they, they put a lot of pressure on you and uh, there's a lot happening on the floor. So um, Draymond Draymond was uh, was fantastic. Was there adjustment maybe to go less with the pick and roll uh, and do some other stuff, or what? What did you do offensively to, to adjust a little bit from the last game? Um, well, we we tried to move bodies around a little bit more. The, the biggest thing was just poise and patience, and and not being in a rush. Um, you know, Phoenix is excellent defensively, so you you're not going to get a shot right away against their defense. It's not going to be easy, so you have to work into the possession a little bit. Um, we did a few things to try to free Steph up. And, and um, uh, other than that, it was more just, you know, let's do what we do, but, um, you know, let's uh, let's be smart. Let's be smart and solid offensively. And I thought, uh, especially in the second half, that was the case. Steve, you guys snapped the Suns' 18-game winning streak, and you did it with three key guys out. Obviously, Booker was out, too, for the Suns. But have you had the thought of just, like, wondering, like, wow, I haven't even seen how good this team is going to be? Our team, yeah. Um, well, we we um, we caught a break tonight with the Suns on a back to back, so the schedule uh, played in our favor. Uh, but winning 18 games in a row is um, just incredible. So, um, you know, we have huge respect for for Phoenix and what they've accomplished and what kind of team they've become over the last couple of years. And we know that um, you know we're we're trying to catch them. You know, not vice versa. Uh, we we haven't been in the playoffs for two years, so uh, we're we're trying to catch them, and, and we know that they're the the best team in the West uh, till somebody else knocks them off. And um, so it's fun to go against them, and um, good to see our team respond after losing the other night. Steve, you kind of said as a side before the game that you should probably play Gary Payton a little more. Uh, how much is that on your mind? And obviously it played out tonight. I mean, is, is it like, I've got to find more ways to play him? Well, he's so dynamic defensively. Um, and, um, you know, when he's scoring as well, I mean, he made a few threes tonight, but also scored, you know, around the basket as he does. Um, he's, uh, it, it's hard to take him off the floor, uh, because of, of what he does for us. So, He's really earned all these minutes. He's earned his spot in the rotation, and uh, there's no reason why he uh, won't continue to, to play quite a bit. Steve, what what can you just say about about Juan and his bounce back game? Had the the rough game on on Tuesday, but to be so impactful yeah. in, in different ways tonight. Yeah, it didn't surprise me. I mean, Juan is a fighter. He's a competitor, and he's a very smart basketball player. And he did not play a smart game the other night. He he'd be the first to tell you. Um, tonight he was so much more poised. You know, one turnover, um, five assists. I thought his um, you know his offensive game was 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 brilliant. Um, but that's um, that's who Juan has become in this league. You know what he showed tonight, uh, two way. Uh, excellence um, and resilience. I thought um, Juan had a great game. 
see Draymond the other night after the game in Phoenix, Draymond kind of you know, intimated that he wasn't pleased with the way the team played and the way he played. Um, did you sense that he wanted to make a statement tonight or did you see any of that coming? Um, if you know Draymond, which you do, um, you know, if we lose and he doesn't play well, then you know what's coming the next game. So, yeah, he was very motivated to play tonight. He was uh, emotional. He was uh, all over the floor, um, and he wanted to make up for um, for the loss the other night. One follow-up on Juan, uh, how would you sort of describe that dunk? I'm guessing you haven't seen too many people dunk over JaVale. <laughs> Not many. So, yeah, that was impressive. That really got the crowd going and a uh, fun play for our team. Um, fun way to, for him to immediately bounce back uh, from the other night and get himself engaged in the game. The other thing I want to mention is I thought Wiggs was uh, fantastic, just setting a tone defensively on, on Chris right away, uh, hounding him everywhere um, he went and, and uh, you know, also contributing um, offensively the way he did. I thought, I thought Wiggs had a great game. Yeah, I was going to ask about Wiggs. Obviously, he was struggling through that last game. Uh, could you really see that on, on the tape when you looked at it in – well, what is the difference when you have an active, healthy uh, Wiggins like that? Like yeah, we, we could see during the game and then on tape, um, he was laboring the other night with the back spasms. And uh, fortunately, everything cleared up uh, pretty well over the last couple of days. And he looked much more active and energetic tonight. And uh, what he does for us is he gives us a six, eight strong athlete who we can um, put on anybody on the floor, um, whether it's Chris Paul or uh, – you know, LeBron, Paul George, who, whoever uh, the best player is on the other team, we can always put wigs on him, and and we know he's going to hold his own uh, because of his athleticism and his size. Would you have had him on Paul even if Booker was playing, or would you would have kept him on Booker because he had Draymond on on Paul? Yeah, um, I don't know. We uh, we would have had uh, to to reassess. You know, if Booker was playing, then then we would have. Um, had that conversation, but since he wasn't, we knew he wasn't playing. Uh, this was the game plan we came up with. See, if sometimes teams that have a free throw disparity like you guys had tonight, I think they were 35 to 12 or something like that, uh, teams get knocked off their game a little bit, but there was really no sign of you guys. You guys just played through it. What does that say? Well, I think uh, I sensed the last couple of minutes of the second quarter, or we lost our energy a little bit um other than that two minute stretch three minute stretch i thought uh we were really good in terms of uh you know maintaining our poise and, and energy and um but we've we've got to be smarter than that you know um we, we've we've got to defend without fouling it's been a, a huge um dynamic for our team this year we've we talk about it every day and we kind of lost our minds the last few minutes of the second quarter it was great to see them uh, you know respond in the second half and defend without fouling when the whistles are sounding so much in this game are you surprised that Steph doesn't get a lot of calls trying to get me in trouble aren't you <laughs> so, uh, yeah I mean I, I thought I thought Steph could have had some calls tonight. There's always going to be every game. There's going to be you know both coaches are going to be upset with some of the calls. Um, to me, the free throw disparity was not uh, about officiating tonight. It was about us. So we've got to do better with that. All right. Thank you.